The technique you're gonna learn today is called a question mark kick because when we do it, it looks like a question mark, okay? Now, this kick is a very tricky kick. It's not super powerful, but it's very fast. You need a couple of things to be able to do it. It looks like this, boom. What we're gonna start with, we've gotta go through our turning kick. If you haven't seen the turning kick, go and watch the first Power Rangers episode. If you watch that first Power Rangers episode, then you'll have a good idea how to do the turning kick, but I'll go through it really quickly now so that you've got a basic idea. So turning kick, it's called a turning kick because we turn our foot. That's the first thing we do. Second thing we do, knee comes up. Third, we kick out. When we're kicking, we're kicking with this part of our foot or the shin. Okay, now a question mark kick is a, like a more advanced, much more advanced turning kick. But let's just do five turning kicks to start with. So turn on the side for me. First thing I do is turn the leg. Knee up, kick out. Good, pull the knee back and down. Let's do five of these, ready? One, boom. Good, two, turn the foot, knee up. Good, three, bang. Four, boom. And five. Good, all right, let's try the other leg. One, boom. Good, two, pop. Nice, three, boom. Good, lift that knee, turn those hips. Four, bang. See, when I turn, you'll see now my back's facing you because I'm turning my chest so that I get all the way around with my kick. Let's do a quick race. So you're gonna do four frog jump sideways, stand up. Turning kick one, turning kick two, four frog jump sideways. Ready, nice and quick. Go, one, two, three, four, boom. Two turning kicks, one, change leg, two, four frog jump sideways, go. One, two, three, and ready. What we're gonna do now is the question mark kick. So, when we do this, the back leg, which is our power leg, so the hand that you ride with goes in the back, that leg also goes back, that's our power leg. That leg is gonna swing forward. What you wanna imagine you're doing is you're touching someone's knee. So you imagine you've got an opponent standing here like this. So the opponent's there, what you're gonna do with this leg is you're gonna touch their knee. Touch their knee. And what happens is when someone touches your knee like that, you think automatically of your knee. So your focus, it's like when, you're, when you guys are trying to balance on one foot, if you're looking at one spot, you're focusing on one spot. If you're looking over here, you're focusing on heaps of things. Makes it very hard to keep your balance, all right? So what we do here is we're trying to break their focus. So we just touch their leg, touch their leg. Boom, touch their leg, and then we flick our leg around. Touch, my hips are still straight, and then I flick up to the chin. That's where you're trying to get So I'm here. This movement's quite quick. My foot's still straight. Boom, I touch the knee. And then what happens is my hips and my foot turn like that. And my leg follows around. Boom, like, or like a hook, right? So it goes boom, bang. Good, all right, I'll get this done in slow motion for you guys so you can watch. Ready, slow-mo. Good, again. All right, so really ripping the hips around. Hips have to rip. All right, try a couple with me. See how we go. I'll keep doing it straight on because I think you guys can get a better image of what I'm doing here. All right, you ready? Let's go for five, ready? One, boom, good. Whip the hips, whip the hips. Two, pa, oh yeah. If you do a full spin like I'm doing sometimes, that's fine, not a problem. Three. Good. Again. Four. Pa. Not too bad. Last one. Ki-eye on this one. Go. Ki-eye. Good. All right. Not too bad. Ki-eye. A little bit louder. Ready? Go. Ki-eye. What we're going to do now is we're going to get some UFC fighters up. They're going to be holding some targets for us. So we might have Conor McGregor. We might have Brock Lesnar. We might have... Jake Paul, he's not a UFC guy, but we'll put him in there anyway. <laughs> we have different guys holding targets, and what we've got to do is we've got to go low, boom, and question mark kick around to get that target, all right? So let's see how we go. 
First one's over here, let's see what we got, go. Ow. Oh, did you get that one? All right, second one on this side, ready? Go. Ow. Beautiful, did you get that one? All right, try on this one, ready? Again, go. Bang. Ow. Good, all right, try Kia on this side, go. Kia. Ow. Good, not too bad this side. Kia nice and loud, go. Kia. Ow. Two more, go. Kia. Ow. One more, one more. Kia loud, go. Kia. Ow. Really good today, okay. I know that's a tricky technique, but you guys have done really well. Very impressed with the effort. Make sure if you haven't already, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with some friends. Get some friends to practice this with. Don't do it to hurt each other, but if you hold your hands out, or you're holding a paddle in your hands or something that you guys can hit that's not gonna hurt, then you can practice that kick. Maybe you can have two like that, so you touch low, hit high. Okay, something to think about. Really good effort today, kids. Make sure you're being safe with these techniques, but amazing. Feet together, and bow. Three big claps. Outstanding kids, high fives for your effort. Pop, 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 boom. See you on the next one, guys. Really well done, bye.